Hi, this is Dr. Rashmi Roy, your very own goiter guru here at the Hospital for Endocrine Surgery, and it is Goiter Awareness Week. Uh, so today I want to talk to you about the most um, asked questions that we get about thyroid goiters. So the first question is, what is a goiter? And is it possible to have a goiter and thyroid nodules? I understand why this is asked all the time because it, it can be confusing. So a goiter or a multi-nodule goiter just means that you have multiple nodules within your thyroid. So a nodule is a growth in your thyroid gland. Um, so multiple nodules in your thyroid is called a multi-nodule goiter. A goiter is just another way to say that you have multiple thyroid nodules. Second question, what causes a goiter? So we don't know what causes goiters, especially in America. Um, and in third world countries where iodine deficiency is an issue, significant iodine deficiency can cause, can cause goiters. Um, but here in America, an American diet, we have enough iodine in our diet, so that's not really the cause for it. Um, thyroid nodules just can form. We don't really know why. Um, and once you have thyroid nodules, the natural history is for them to grow. So this is why when you have a thyroid nodule, you need to just monitor them on a yearly basis. And if your nodules enlarge, if they start causing you symptoms, if they um, are visible, if you can feel them, if they're going down into your chest, these are all reasons that you would need an intervention. Uh, the third question, are goiters cancerous? So this is a great question. So people always think that goiters are benign. So this is not true, not all the time. Statistically speaking, nodules are benign, um, but you can have nodules within your goiter that have thyroid cancer. It will be cured with the surgery as long as you have an expert thyroid surgeon doing your uh, thyroid surgery. Um, but these nodules, they, uh, when, they, when you get an ultrasound, if they look suspicious, you get a biopsy to see if it's thyroid cancer or suspicious for one. Um, but just because you have a goiter, you, know, you could be hiding a thyroid cancer there. Next question, what are the symptoms of a goiter? How do I know if I have a goiter? Um, so these questions are very important to know because this is when you should seek an expert thyroid surgeon to evaluate your, your goiter. Um, so symptoms of a goiter. So symptoms of a goiter are, are what we call compressive symptoms. Your thyroid sits on top of your windpipe. Your thyroid sits on top of your swallowing tube. Um, so if you have trouble breathing, if when you lay down, you feel tightness in your neck. When you're swallowing, if you feel like something's getting stuck or that there's something in your neck, it's true, it's your gut goiter that's causing this to um, feel like you have something stuck. Sometimes people have an increased effort when they swallow. Um, so these are all symptoms. Obviously, if you see a big bulge in your neck, these, this is a visible goiter, um, that's a symptom. Um, so these are all reasons uh, to have a, have a thyroid ultrasound, see an expert thyroid surgeon. Um, and so these are how you know that you have a goiter if you have these types of symptoms. Um, next question, these kind of go together. Can a goiter go away on its own? Are there natural remedies for goiters? So a goiter cannot go away on its own. A goiter means that you have multiple large thyroid nodules. Um, the only way for this to be removed is surgery. There are options for singular nodules, things like radiofrequency ablation, but if you have multiple thyroid nodules, radiofrequency ablation is not going to work. Natural remedies, rubbing creams, turmeric, homeopathic therapies, guys, just don't even go there, you're wasting time. Um, you need surgery, I know surgery can be scary. Watch my other videos, um, you can see this is all that I do. Um, you need surgery, you need an expert thyroid surgeon. Last uh, question, what are treatment options for goiters? So like I just said in the previous, um, previous question, your treatment for a thyroid goiter that is visible, that is causing symptoms, that could potentially have thyroid cancer, that's going down into your chest, is not to monitor, it's to have an expert thyroid surgeon remove this. So hopefully this helped you guys. Um, if you are questioning if you have a goiter or what to do next, um, please contact me at thyroidcancer.com and if you want to see more videos, see all these patients that I've helped, subscribe to my channel so that you could see more videos.